brothers and sisters. Today I am so happy because I'm going to bring you a very special video on my top 10 men fragrance choices. Now, before I talk to y'all, let me grab a seat real quick. All right, so what really inspired me to, um, to wear fragrances is my father. We always had that one person in our life that always smelled good and always had these collection of fragrances, right? And that person happened to be my father. So I remember when I was like in middle school or whatever, I would always sneak in his room and grab uh, one of his colognes, the so many of colognes that he had. And I was put a couple of sprays on, go to school, and I'll get a ton of compliments, right? I mean, I'm talking to my teachers, like all these different girls. And that really made me feel good about myself. So that just broke me into the ambiance of fragrances and the way that people perceive you off of just the, the way you smell, right? So that was really interesting to me and it grew on me. And as you can see, I have a pretty decent collection of fragrances now. And I'm gonna go over these fragrances and tell you exactly um, how to basically wear them, uh, the potency, uh, basically which ones are proverbial on performance and stuff like that. And um, really what you really need to understand is how to wear fragrances. So a lot of people will wear fragrances uh, in the incorrect way. And I'll show you what's incorrect and what's correct based off of my knowledge. If you all enjoy and love this video, make sure you smash that like button. And just to let you all know in advance, my pronunciation is God awful. So if I do happen to pronounce something incorrectly, just let me know in the comments and I won't do it again in the future. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And um, I'd like to welcome you to the A Display. I will be posting videos frequently. So you can hit that notification bell as well. You will be notified when I do post a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start from 10 all the way up to one. And I'm gonna be grading these fragrances based on compliment getting, potency, and I'm gonna explain on what occasion you can apply these fragrances. So let's start with my number 10. It's going to be our Moth Shades Wood, Hood and Toilette. Now, this fragrance is like a diamond in the rough. I mean, I don't even really see many fragrance YouTube channels showcase this fragrance. So, I mean, it's, it's a really, like, it's a, this is a fine right here. So, this by far is one of my most strongest fragrances um, in terms of potency. I mean, you, you really only need three, three shots of this thing and you'll be good for the rest of the day. Now, as for compliment getting, I don't get any compliments up close. Like if I'm just hugging somebody or something like that, I don't recall ever getting a compliment on this. Maybe once, maybe once. I, Yes, if memory serves, I got it one time. But the compliments that I got from this, other than people being in front of me, is from when I, I actually stay in a room for a while and I leave the room. This fragrance is good for smelling up a room really, really quickly. So if I were just walking somewhere and let's say I'm in there for 30 minutes having a conversation with somebody and I leave, the room is gonna smell like I'm still there. And that's what's good about this fragrance. It's, it's, very, it's very strong and it's able to basically emit a scent in a place and stay and live there for a little while so people can still feel you in there. So the type of places that I will wear this fragrance in, um, a funeral, I'll wear it to the mall, um, somewhere like the, the library. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very classy fragrance. Um, I'm not gonna say I will wear this to like a business meeting or something like that because I feel like it's way too strong for that. Uh, people probably won't be able to take you seriously if they, they keep smelling this strong scent. But um, definitely a funeral in a mall. This is a, definitely a mall type of a fragrance um, where a lot of people are gonna be. So this is my number 10 and let's go ahead and transition to number nine. So number nine is pretty much perennial. This is Eternity for Men, Calvin Klein, Hooded Toilet. Now, this is more of a casual scent, okay? It's, it's very sweet, and I actually wear this when I go to the gym. I go, I go to the gym and I always like smelling good, so this is one of my casual gym smells. I'll also wear this when, let's say, I'm going to uh, visit somebody for a quick second and if I, if I just have casual clothes on. Uh, but I would definitely go somewhere where it's going to be a casual setting. So not uh, dressed up or classy. It's not really a classy smell to me. 
but this is a really to basically explain the smell is kind of like a fresh smell like you smell like you're just a clean person like uh you just got out of the shower or something like that that's why i like wearing this to the gym because i do not like stinking in the gym that's just a pet peeve of mine but yes in terms of longevity um I say that this one isn't as long lasting as Arm Off Suede. This one probably will last you a good maybe six hours as to Arm Off Suede's entire 24. That, like, again, that's like my strongest uh, fragrance that I own, right? So when it comes to compliment getting, I definitely get compliments on this one when I'm in, when I'm in a gym. People like the way I smell in the gym. They're like, oh, you, you smell good, you smell nice. And I'll be like, thank you, and then start banging out the weights again. But yes, this is a very, very good um, fragrance on many occasions uh, that are casual. So yes, that's Eternity Calvin Klein. Okay, so let's transition into number eight. Now, number eight is a Bath and Body Works fragrance. So this is Midnight for Men. Now, this fragrance is exactly what it says. So you can wear, it's a nighttime kind of feel fragrance. Like I feel like I'm going to a, like a nightclub, uh, a casino or something like that. And you can definitely wear this in a suit, in a nightclub suit or going to a casino in your club with your boys or, or girls. So when I grade this on compliment getting, I definitely get compliments on this. So I, I most definitely get compliments on this all the time um when it comes to long lasting it's it's decent it, I, i'll put it on the same scale as eternity for men and on again on occasions you can definitely wear this on a, a club type of occasion uh even if you're going to a like um let's say like you're going to just a party like any kind of party gathering kickback anything like that this like late at night or something that feels kind of like you're about to turn up. This is the turn up. This is the turn up fragrance. So Midnight Man, Bath and Body Works. So swinging in at number seven, we got Lone Libre Ise Lamont in a toilet. Now, this is a very rare model of Ise Lamont. I say that because I haven't seen it on many fragrance channels at all and I don't know why because it's a very good smell for an occasion right but it's limited to occasion so let's go ahead and start with a compliment getting I do get compliments on this one when I wear it in the right occasion right um as as far as potency goes it's very strong um it will basically emit smells around you people will be able to smell you from let's say 10 feet away like if I'm, if I'm abided by social distancing laws or whatever, regulations, if I'm going to Walmart and I'm, say I'm checking out somebody six feet away from me, they're definitely gonna be able to smell me like instantly. As soon as I, as soon as I walk past them, they're gonna smell me. As soon as I stand six feet away from, from them, they're gonna smell me. So when it comes to longevity, when it comes to long, long lasting, right? This one is, is decent. It will last you through like let's say a, a work day. So you're nine to five, it will work, it will last you for the entirety of your shift or whatever. I love this fragrance in the fall. So this is a very cold weather type of fragrance. Very cold weather, winter, fall, whatever, so be it. It's a very cold smell. And that's what I like about it. Like it just smells like there's snow in here for some reason. Like somebody, some kind of wind entity that's started blowing wind inside of here and it just hits you with the breeze as soon as you spray it on yourself. Like, really, this, this could really be on a commercial. But yeah, so sliding in at number seven, you got Lone Libre, Issa Laurent, uh, in the toilet. And I really like this, this uh, fragrance. Sliding in at number six, we have Valentino, in the toilet. Now, this cologne is one of a kind, uh, in my opinion. This, like, as soon as I put this on, I, I automatically feel sexy, right? This is my sexy cologne. So if I want to appeal sexy to people and 
uh, just appeal sexy in my mind, I'm gonna throw this on any day, anytime, any day. So, on compliment getting, this cologne has got me like an exponential amount of compliments. And it's kind of crazy. Like, as soon as I wear this to a mall or as soon as I wear it to some kind of event, uh, some kind of thing that somebody's hosting with people in it, I'm getting compliments left and right. Left and right. I mean, woman here, woman there. Uh, do say, oh, yeah, what kind of cologne you got on? It smells pretty good. I mean, I, I, went, I went to some kind of uh, private business thing uh, meeting, and I had this cologne on, and I've gotten plenty of compliments on it. Plenty. So, in terms of long lasting, this one isn't so so highly long lasting. In um, again, it's it's a very it's a very sweet sweet smell. But again, when you go more towards the sweetness, I feel like they don't last, like. I only have one cologne that lasts really long and sweet, right? So this is maybe like a, I say it lasts around four hours, four or five hours. That's, I mean, it's decent, but it's not as long as many of my other fragrances. So, potency, decent, it's okay. Um, people are gonna have to be pretty close to you, like I said, um, like you have to go to like a, a event or something like that where you're shaking people's hands and giving people, people hugs and stuff like that. Um, on the type of occasion, honestly, this is this can be used any time of the of the year, any time of the year. Whenever you feel like you need to go outside, and you feel good about yourself, you feel like you look really good, then just go ahead and throw this on, and it'll get you right. This is the the, um, the get right cologne, sexy cologne. So yeah, that's Valentino, Petit Toilet. Now for number five, I'm gonna have to put my shades on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. The reason I put my shades on is because we got Cree Aventus Eau de Parfum. Now, this fragrance makes you feel like you're automatically rich. Go ahead and uh, give y'all a couple sprays. Five, ten dollars. This fragrance is amazing. Like, this, I mean, it's self-explanatory. So it's, it's Cree. People, people know what this fragrance is when you say it, when you have it on. People automatically think that you got money when you wear this fragrance. It's four hundred dollars, honestly. Like if you go to any kind of fragrance outlet or online shopping, no matter where you go, it's four hundred dollars enough. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. So yeah, obviously, compliment getting, self-explanatory. If I wear this anywhere, like a club, if I wear it to like any kind of private event where a lot of high net worth individuals are going to be at. I'm gonna be rich along with them. That's what I'm gonna feel like, that's what they're gonna know, that's what I wanna know. I'm gonna conjure that up in my mind, right? Um, now when it comes to potency, eau de parfum and eau de toilet. Okay, now let me explain the two, if you don't know the two already. I, I mean, obviously a lot of people probably already do, but if you don't, eau de toilet is a water-based uh, fragrance. So it's not always gonna be as strong as the eau de parfum, but there, in some occasions it may be. And now your eau de parfum, that's going to be your oil-based variant um, of the fragrance. And these typically last longer because it's oil. Oil lasts longer than water, right? So, yes, this is long-lasting. Honestly, it can last for 48 hours if you want it to. You, you only need a couple of sprays of this thing. It's, it's, really, it's really potent and it's really expensive, so you might want to put a couple of fragrance, fragrance uh, sprays on anyway. And type of occasion, um, I mean, I, I, as I explained earlier, you can wear this to any kind of private event. You can wear it to any kind of like um, special, like special occasions. So if you're going, let's say to to meet somebody on some sort of cruise or something like that, or if you're on, if you're on a cruise, if you're if you're going on some sort of fancy date or something like that, this this is the, the uh, fragrance to go with. And matter of fact, on that second thought on the date, if you wear this fragrance your waiters probably want to expect a very um, expensive tip because obviously she knows just as I know that this fragrance is a lot of money. So yeah, sliding in at number five, we got Creed Aventus Eau de Parfum. Sliding in at number four, we got one of my favorites, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilet. This fragrance is one of a kind. I mean, 
very, very, very spicy type of fragrance. You can tell that there's a lot of spices and gravy in here. Um, when it comes to compliment getting, I get a ton of compliments on this fragrance. Um, I, I used to wear this to my um, classes that I had at school, or I'll wear it to, um, let's say, like a, a family outing, and I'll get a ton of compliments. I mean, like my mom be like, oh, you smell good, son. And my dad would be like, what you got on? What you got on, boy? You know, so yeah, these, this Blue de Chanel Eau Toilet is very, very, um, it's a friend, it's a friendly smell. Spice, it's a, and it's a spicy smell. So again, um, when it comes to potency, uh, it's, pre it's pretty decent. This, this will last you a good 10, 10, 12 hours throughout the day. So it's pretty good on that. Uh, long lasting, um, obviously 10 to 12 hours is a decent uh, time range for any kind of fragrance, right? So because a lot of fragrances out here, uh, four hours, three hours, yeah, can't rock with it. But very great, you can wear it on many occasions actually. So this is very versatile. So. Um, you can wear it to the mall, you can wear it to the library, you can wear it to school, you can wear it to your job. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty versatile in, in terms of uh, where you, what occasion you can wear it on. And yeah, so Blue de Chanel, Hooded Toilet, go get you some because this right here, man, it's one of a kind. We in our top three, y'all. We almost there. Number three, we got Dolce & Gabbana The One. Some of y'all already knew that Dolce & Gabbana The One was gonna be in the top three. Uh, as perennial as this fragrance is, a lot of people love it, I love it, it's great. This is my favorite casual wear fragrance. So I'm definitely gonna wear this fragrance when I go to the movies, uh, I can wear it when I go to the gym, uh, if I'm just going to school. I can wear it when I just wake up and have to rush out somewhere and I just need a couple of sprays and I'm gonna go for this, for this fragrance right here. I mean, this is just a work of art. Um, it's very, it's a sweet, it's a sweet spray um, fragrance. But like I was saying before, sometimes your sweet ones don't last as long. This one will last pretty long, right? Even though it's a, um, a water, a water-based fragrance. So compliment getting, ton of compliments. Again, this is my casual, casual spray. It's in my top three for a reason. I get a ton of compliments on this spray. People, people love it. Women love it. Uh, women love sweet, sweet fragrances that smell really good, and this is the one. Dolce Gabbana, the one. <laughs> it's the name. So, potency. Potency is pretty good. Um, you can you can be able to smell this this fragrance um, at a pretty. You can smell it at a distance. You can smell the spray at a distance. Six feet. Six feet. I'll give it six feet. Um, now, long lasting. I will give this. I'll give this 10 hours. I'll give this a full day. Like a full active day. I'll give this 10 hours. But type of occasion, casual, any time of the any time of the year, any time of the day, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, that's why I actually need to get more of it because I use it so much. Um, but yeah, don't check up out of the one, put it toilet, go get you some. It's the best casual fragrance out there, in my opinion. Um, yeah, this, this will get the job done. For my number two. So my number two isn't as notable as Creed Aventus or Don't Shake Up Another One, but it is a variant of the one. And now let me show you why. Well, I, I guess this is a personal reason why it's in my, my top three, but so I wear a lot of uh, business casual wear. I, I own a company. And Dolce & Gabbana, the one sport, is definitely my favorite business, business wear fragrance fragrance and I've gotten many compliments when I'm in any kind of business setting with this fragrance so that's why I actually bought a 5.0 bottle the, the biggest the biggest bottle that they, that, they, um, that they have and this just gets the job done I mean again it's, it's another variant of the one so when it comes to business settings this is the one to go to any kind of suit any kind of business casual wear throw this on and you'll be right in the midst of just feeling great. Like you'll just, you'll just feel like you own the world. You own whatever you own, a business, you can own a dog, you can own a house. It, it just makes you feel like you own something. I'm telling you, man, this, this thing gets, gets the job done. 
So as for compliments, self-explanatory. Top three, whenever I have anything on, say I have this suit on right now, if I put this on, I, I walk outside, go somewhere, see somebody, greet them, I'm more than likely, nine times out of 10, gonna get a compliment from them. You smell good, you look good. That's what we're looking for, right? That's the end goal when we put on fragrances because we wanna smell good, we wanna know we smell good, and we want other people to know we smell good. So, potency. This one is pretty decent. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna gas it up and say that it's the the most potent fragrance, one of the most potent fragrances that I have, but it's pretty strong. It's definitely pretty strong for a business casual fragrance fragrance. Um again, when when I when I go in office or something like that, I don't want my fragrance to be too overwhelming to people to the point where it distracts them or um, it's, it's just too overwhelming and um, to for their nose or whatever. So this is just the right amount of potency for me when it comes to business settings. Now, long lasting, this again, it's, it's one of the variants of the one. So it lasts around 10 to 12 hours. I mean, it's it's pretty, like this, this is exceptional. This is it's, it's an exceptional fragrance. Like there's nothing competing with this when it comes to business, business casual and um, in my opinion. So again, type of occasion, any kind of business wear, any kind of professional setup, professional meeting, if you're going to an interview, um, if you're meeting and greeting somebody, if you're having some kind of, um, I don't know, like if you're talking to somebody that of great importance, if you want, shoot, if you want to dress up and go to talk to a professor or something, to get a better grade, wear this one, and they might just give you that better grade. That's that's how good this fragrance is. But yeah, Dolce & Gabbana, the one sport. So it's time for number one, you guys. And to be honest, I have two number ones because they're both so amazing and they both just perform like outstanding to me. And I could not choose between the two. So let's go ahead and start with Jimmy Choo, Urban Hero, Eau de Parfum. Now, this fragrance is amazing. It is amazing how how well this how well this fragrance has performed for me in the past year, right? So, one, I, I like I like the way the bottle looks. So you got the whole silver and blue little colorway thingy, and you got a cool little top too. But again, this is the Eau de Parfum, so that's self-explanatory. Um, it's going to last for a very, very long time. I'm saying like 48 hours if you need, if you need it to. Um, now, type of occasion, you can wear this. I feel like on any serious occasion, you can wear it on like casual, but not too casual type of occasion. So I wouldn't wear this to a to a gym, but I would wear it to a mall if I have casual wear on. So between this cologne and my other number one. These have both gotten me like a multitude of compliments. Like I can't even I can't even recall every compliment that I've gotten on these. Like, I almost get a compliment every time I walk out of the house with this on, man. I mean, this is like, it's, it's just great. As soon as I put this on, I'm like, okay, uh, I can expect a compliment. Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna get a compliment that day. I'll put it that way. So in terms of in terms of potency, this thing exudes like let's say ten feet. I can, honestly, I can just wear this thing to, let's say I'm going to like a seminar or something like that, and I'm just sitting in a row, and there's a, a lot of rows and, and columns behind me, right? People, let's say I'm in the front row, I feel like somebody in the 10th row will be able to smell this, this fragrance. That's how strong this fragrance is to me. And it smells very manly, so it has, it has sort of a hint of sexy in it, and it has a hint of seriousness, seriousness in it. So if you take somebody on a date, I feel like they're, they're gonna think you're smart, sexy, serious, and it's just gonna add, it's gonna, it's gonna add to your personality. And again, this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Top two um, goes to Jimmy Choo, Urban Hero, Eau de Parfum. So we got my other number one. Now, you are probably, already probably expecting this. I mean, what's a video without 
Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Now this one gets pretty personal for me because honestly, I picked up this fragrance because my dad wore this fragrance so many times. And I'm like, okay, this this is a pretty good smell. And it he would smell good the whole entire day. So I'm like, man, that like the performance on that thing is ridiculous. So I went went ahead and got my own. Um, I mean, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Every everybody knows what this is. It's it's perennial and it's prover proverbial. People are gonna know what it is as soon as you tell them what you got on, and it's gonna get you compliments all day long. I mean, I'm talking all day long. Like it, it has a sweet smell and a spice added to it. So this is another sexy cologne, like a lot. It's, it's, a, it's a serious cologne as well, just like Jimmy Choo. And um, it's a very professional smell. So if I'm looking at somebody and smell them with this cologne, I'm thinking they're very professional. I think they're very, really uh, put together. Like uh, they're very serious type, type of person. And clean. So when, in terms of potency, this thing, man, this, this will spread out a whole entire room with no problem. You can you can go sit stand in the room for five minutes, leave the room, and it will be there for the next thirty minutes or so. Like this, that's how strong this is. I'm not gonna say it's as strong as my number ten one, which is Armoff Suede, um, but this one is pretty decent. Like it, it's up there. Now, type of occasions, you can wear this just like I'm gonna say it's parallel with Jimmy Choo. You can wear it at a business occasion, or you can wear it on a casual occasion, but not too casual, like casual like going to the gym or something like that. But you can definitely wear this to, um, let's say like uh, a mall or like library or something like that. Like, honestly, this this fragrance right here is it's one of a kind. I, I don't really think that something's gonna really replace this, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. So um, first I can start with, I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this, but we got Alpine Suede. Now this is a Bath and Body Works type of fragrance. Um, it's a very manly kind of fragrance, uh, hence the name uh, Alpine, which is a type of uh, like wood, woody, woody smell. But yes, Alpine Suede, uh, Eau de Toilette, Bath and Body Works. It's a very good smell, gets you a lot of compliments. The only drawback for this for this fragrance is that the, um, the potency just isn't there for me. So um, it'll last you around maybe four hours or so, and then uh, you have to either apply more or you'll just be um, out for the day in terms of smell. So another one, which I need to actually get another one is Givenchy. Air Eau de Toilette. This one is a very sweet smell, very long lasting, will get you a lot of compliments, and it's a very casual smell. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments from girls in this smell. I mean, honestly, I would have put this in my top 10, but I really felt like I had to put Armand Suede in there because of how rare it is, like how people really don't even know that it exists. I really had to put it in there, but this one, is definitely a go-getter. And let's see if I can add in. Oh, we got one million. This one is a very, very manly type of fragrance. Um, I mean, as soon as I put this on, I just feel very comfortable with my masculinity. I mean, this is probably one of my most manly fragrances I have, to be honest. And in terms of long lasting, um, very long lasting, it's gonna last you maybe a good, good 10 hours out of the day. Pretty, pretty average, but pretty good as well. Um, on an occasion, um, you can honestly wear this, you can wear this a lot of places, on, on, on a lot of occasions. So let's say I'm going to, um, let's say I'm going to a mall, uh, let's say I'm just going to have dinner with somebody, uh, you can always wear this, this fragrance in those type of settings. Fragrance that could have easily made it to my top 10 was Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Long. Et de Toilette. This one is very, very business casual, um, very sweet, um, very professional. 
and it will get you a lot of compliments as it has for me. Uh, lastly, I, I love these solar mount, by the way. I have plenty of these solar mount fragrances. So, these solar mount alone didn't perform intense. Um, this one's very long lasting, as uh, hence the name. Very sweet. It's, I would say it's a, uh, it has a Valentino feel for me. So it makes me feel like I'm sexy, but not as sexy as Valentino. But this is a very good uh, option. Thank you all for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely leave your thoughts. I hope the video was informative for those who are new to the Amiasa fragrances. And again, I'm going to be posting more videos that pertain to fragrances or even fitness and things of that nature. So definitely stay tuned. And until next time, y'all.